get some fresh catfish here. Catfish curry, right, Ricky? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Come on, Tina, I still baka, snap a trout, catch my buddy. Any catfish? Snap a little baka. Bring on it. Snap over here. Do you want me to cut the Yeah, please. Yeah, nice curry size, right? Yeah, curry. Oh. Guys, look at the freshness and goodness here. We have some fresh catfish, which we bought in Guyana. So now, when I say the freshness, it couldn't get fresher than this. You guys saw us in Guyana. We went to the Mon Repos market and these are the stuff that we bought. We bought some fresh, fresh catfish there. They clean and cut it up for us and we package it and brought it back here. Today I'm gonna to be cooking some hot curry catfish and compliments of Captain Whiteboy. We have some fish eggs here. So I'm gonna steam this out with a little salt. I'm gonna use half of the fish eggs here and the other half I'll reserve to cook with another sort of curry another day and add it into the curry I have some root vegetables here sweet potatoes edos cassava I'm gonna make some boil and fry provision I'll do a little rice also and I have some nice green mango you know and some okra that's gonna go into this catfish so it's a beautiful day here in New York City we went and did our three mile walk this morning we came back and I'm going to patrol on this curry outside because it's a beautiful beautiful day it's in the 60s today the Sun is out in all its glory so join me guys in the backyard I'm gonna get everything set up here right now season up the fish get all my tomatoes and onions peppers and stuff all of my curry and spices ready join me back in the backyard so the catfish is all clean, washed, seasoned up with all of my aromatics, tomatoes, onions, my green seasoning mixture. I steamed out the fish egg. So I think this is either sea trout or snapper eggs I'm going to be using here. When the fish is almost finished cooking, then I'll add it in. And the reason why I steam it out because if you just put the raw fish egg into the curry, it'll get all white and foamy. I have again my peppers, mango, and some young okra to go in there in the curry also, and my spice mixture of curry powder, masala, jeera, some turmeric, and a piece of tomato paste. And here are some of the aromatics that I'm using also for my boil and fry provision. I have some onions, some chive, some parsley, a little scotch bonnet pepper, and this gives a little extra touch of piece of golden ray butter. I have my rice that's cooking up here. I'm gonna strain this shortly. And all of my root vegetables are looking good, you know. This should be finished also. So I'm gonna sort it back the root vegetables here with all of my aromatics there. And then join me outside. So I'm cooking the curry will be the last thing. And look who's calling me guys. So look who I have on the phone, guys. <laughs> As I'm taping, look, guys, who's on the phone with me. So that's how you call it to check how the food is going. The food is going. It's going. Yeah, so. Look who else wants to come for lunch. Hi. How are you? Good. You're going to come visit me? Yeah? You're going to come see us? See? We have Nori in the house, guys. So she's going to come see us. No problem, I'll be finished cooking by then. So right. the food is the food is going. Alright, see you for lunch. Right. I'll be cooking. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. So you see guys, Ricky's checking up on the scenes here. Alright, let me finish up in the kitchen with my rice and I am going to go outside and do the curry shortly. I'm first gonna do the boil and fry, however. I have the boil and fry provision here. I'm gonna strain these things right now. So join me back outside soon. Look at the goodness here guys, boil and fry provision, I just finished, 
sauteing up with all of the aromatics. It smells so good and tastes really good. I'm gonna empty it out now. I don't like to leave food into the pot. And I'm gonna use this same pot actually. I'm gonna go outside and do the curry in it. Our rice is finished also as well. So whoever wants rice, they could have it with the curry. We have everything lined up here to take outside. And you also are Ricky already called. You checking up on this this food, you know. You look hungry. You look hungry. All right, so Ricky, we're doing good. We're in good shape. I'm going outside now. Start with this curry fish. In the back here right now. Look at this. The oil is very hot. And let's go in now. Start with this curry mixture here. Okay, so the middle, what do you know? Check out the curry here. It's frying up with all these natural juices and stuff. Right now, I'm gonna add in shortly the mango and the okra, our cherry pepper, and add in some water to start cooking. It smells so good. Now, they put the neighborhood here, you know, again, as I said. And when you see flip flops are out, you know the weather is nice, right? Toes exposed. You know, nice pudding again here. I just watered these plants. It's such a beautiful day here in New York City right now. Alright, so this curry should be finished in about 15-20 minutes. It's not taking long. I am not going to stir up this pot anymore because I don't want to mash up the fish. It's a very tender fish. I gave it one good turn already there so all the curry could um, incorporate, you know, all around it, which it did. Smells so good when you're adding all of these goodness here the okra and the mango and the pepper and thing. Sally in time, so you know, Sally in time, Ricky and Robin. Don't worry, my brother, I'm gonna put away your share. I'm gonna keep some of this curry for you, Robin. I know you're looking forward to some of this curry catfish or catfish curry. I'm gonna put away your share. Big shout out to Captain White Boy and his beautiful wife, Sharda. Big shout out to Fish Pro. And his beautiful wife andrea also we have a couple more shout outs to do when ricky comes for lunch we are con gonna continue and do these shout outs all right guys so stay with us and see how this goodness here finishes and last but not least guys i just added in the fish eggs this curry here has maybe like five more minutes i'm not turning it up again Smells really good. And it'll be ready to serve over the boil and fry provision or rice. Look, we have all rat in the pot. <laughs> what are you looking for? You're looking for Nori? No, I'll just see if you have any shako. Mm -hmm. I hear somebody's coming in. Yes, Who is here. he? Hi, Nori Pelori. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't want you right? No, take, take whatever. What's up? Give me five there. How are you doing? Good. Good? You can taste some curry fish? Yeah? <laughs> it's lunch time! Hey, Ready to eat? How's school today? Okay, catfish time. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Goodness, Mr. Ricky was checking up on this pot, you know. Check it out there. And the baby eating first now here from it. So take, take a lot. Take no, a no, top, no, top, no, top, no, top, no, top, no, top. No, and to be right, she lines. What? The boil and fry provision. She looks like half your shoes. So Anne has this habit, right? Just to tease us, she would send pictures of mm -hmm. the food. Mm -hmm. Look, see? So, so I you... sent it to Robin. He oh, you sent it to Robin? Oh, God, we hear across with Robin. Kidding, but I did, I did tell Robin, I did tell him. I said, Robin, look, I'm saying it's in front of your body here. I have yours put away, buddy. 
Mm. Can't, we can't torture you like this all the time during the week and we're not going to save something for you, right? So, well, hold on. Since you're in recording, mm -hmm. and not too long, so a fan, well, actually yesterday, so one fan of Danny and you of yours. Okay. Oh, and then the snow. But first, I want to... I need to take off my shoes. You okay. can take it off, baby. You can go ahead and take it off. Come in, no, wait one second, baby. We want to say a special shout out to Mr. Ali. So I met you on the avenue and uh, you said you're a big ARD fan, you're heading home to Guyana, you're from Suze Dyke, I believe. And um, you couldn't wait to see Anna make some pumpkin in the kitchen. So I will, I will make pumpkin, pumpkin and shrimp and some dosti roti. So I like when I make pumpkin and, and uh, roti, it has to be dosti roti or the little oil roti my mother not usually makes. So. That's one, and uh, yeah, Mr. Ali, yes, thank you for being a follower of our thank show, so and much. Mr. Uh, ARD, Danny Pasad. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, I want to big up Chris, Chris and his lovely wife, Indrani. Mm -hmm. They're a big fan of yours, and they're of also of Danny's. And, um, thank you guys so much, and I would like to say happy belated birthday to Chris Ramroo, and his wife, say hello to her, Sandy. Yes. Sandy, Sandy, yes. they are very, very faithful fans of ours. Hi, guys. Chris, I like that Trinima boy. I wonder who make it for your boy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so thank you yes, guys so, happy, so much happy, for being birthday. a part of this kitchen here. So now we're going to go walk up some of this fish from the sea to the pot. You guys saw, right? So from for all the freshness and goodness there from Mon Repos Market, from Captain White Boy with the fish eggs and stuff. Thank you guys so much again. Thank you to Danny and his family. Yeah, thank you so nice. much. Thank you, thank you so much. And the crew, the fish pro who, you know. I did show them what yeah, I did. Okay, so fish pro and his entire guy. family. Ryan, I didn't say hi to Ryan. Our little buddy Ryan. All right, so hey, Ricky, Ricky's if, a, a bit happy as you guys can this see. This fish not taste nice, my patke at this party today. What's the word? You gonna do it? <laughs> patke? What is so it? So I have pictures, right, of the two gentlemen mm -hmm. who I met. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna post it up with Damien. Okay, good. All right, so you ready to dig again? Yeah. All right, let's go. So love you get this feedback here, Aunt Bib. Dog. Dog refuse. Dog didn't want this. <laughs> you only take the fish heads? Mm-hmm. We'll take some of the rice. You take them. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you take more than fries here? Yeah? yeah. Oh, so you didn't take rice? Mm-mm. Not just yet. You're gonna tackle some rice there, man. Yeah, girl. I know boil and fries, your lines as you say. I know. Right. You well, see me bones them here? Well, we could clearly see that you're enjoying this catfish. Yeah, the head. The head I love the head. And I'm not a lover of the fish head. Mm -hmm. Let me see what these kids and I'm doing here now. The big kid. Ricky Belly over fully. Sit down here now. And what's Nori Polori doing? I'm eating ice cream. You're eating ice cream? You want Aiden? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Alright, so enjoy your ice cream. See you later. See you later. Bye. He volunteered to take out his, his own food today. <laughs> I remember uh -huh. when we were in Guyana, Danny was doing this thing of... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, those put them all over the food. <laughs> Danny this likes... Guy is such uh, a character, man. Danny likes like his food also with gravy and stuff. Take some of the fish, I guys steam it out first. And this, I think I was saying, I think this is either snapper or trout eggs, right? Because it's not the gilbacker eggs. I have some gilbacker eggs, folks, to do. I actually with prefer the other one more. That's the gilbacker one, yeah. right? Let's try these. I don't think I have. Yeah, man, before. you had this before. You had this before. Take some of the okra and stuff mm, now. Share, watch it, dig, y'all. Mm-hmm. What's your goodness, I share? A whole pepper we're eating in a whole one. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you get me an okra. Okra. Mm-hmm, the okra one thing. Did you use your own? Um, how do you say um body time again? The pudding? Pudding? No, I, I didn't use any in this. I use my regular drying seasoning and so, stuff to season up everything. I thought of something to ruffle your feathers again. If it's small time now, like the dry time, what we call those puddinis? Always see when you see your answer, this man rough and then people say I talk and tame in a different tone of voice. He like to provoke the situation, you know. Why well, call it pudding? Pudding. <laughs> what the hell is pudding? Alright, come on, let's let me try this thing first. Come on, go, go, go. Go in there. Dive in there, Mr. Ricky. First piece of the egg. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Wow. So I was thinking, mm-hmm. because it's not the beaded ones, the the like, eggs, you mean, it wouldn't right? have that flavor, but it does taste really good. No man, I am um, put it in almost when the curry is finished, so you see it, it, the the eggs take a nice curry powder and mm-hmm. stuff, and it, it tastes good. Now let's try this back. Nori, Nori, huh? what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Did you tell? Wait, let me ask you a question first. Did you tell Richard that you're gonna come and move in my uncle Nasser's house and go to school? No. Why you didn't <laughs> tell him that? You gotta tell him that. No, but I'll I'll have to 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 play. Huh? You have to do what? To to for Christmas. Uh huh. What are you gonna do for Christmas? I so I get. A makeup toy. No, but I didn't ask you about that. I asked you if you tell Richard you're gonna come move in here. You gotta bring your bags. Pack your suitcase tonight and come here, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna come pick you up. Yeah. You so... promise? Yes, yeah, so let me hear. Let me hear what you're saying here now. You promise you're gonna come by us? You're gonna play with the water gun with Aidan? You're gonna shoot? Yeah. You gotta come and do the water balloons. I have water balloons for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Eric. Oh my goodness. He, uh, 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 in his words, I'll oh, eat oh, boy. <laughs> you see, the last time I had fish fresh is this. Mm. I believe it was when Danny came over to Florida and came into Rocky straight from the airport. And he took some fish out and he started frying. And I was lost for words to describe, you know, how that fish was because how fresh it was. Mm-hmm. And this is exactly what this catfish is to compare to that. Now, when your finger is like kind of sticky, and you see them yellow, yellow, you near it, you know. No, I think it doesn't wash your hands clean. <laughs> <laughs> you know it taps. So, um. Miss Nori. <laughs> we, we just oh, finished. Yeah, Mama. Aiden is crying like a fake. He's what? He's crying like a fake. He's crying like a fake? That's what it is? Aiden's playing with you. Okay. Aiden is being He's silly. He's a big faker. Don't worry about him. He's being silly. <sighs> So yes. Um. So um, I think. Um, Are you there? I think when Robin had brought fish for us, when Robin went to mm-hmm. Guyana recently uh, for cricket, a couple of few oh, months yeah, ago, yeah. he brought back a lot of fish for us also, and it was really good. He brought. Did he? He, he did bring catfish. Did he bring catfish or snapper? Know. Whatever he brought, it was really good, and it's just like us bringing back also here. So, so it's it's always a delight to have fish this fresh from Guyana because I mean we get it here. But you know, it's, it's something about when it comes from in that suitcase, you know, you're seeing it put up in the market, it, it, you really enjoy it better, so. I enjoyed the experience <clears throat> in the Monroe's market and Danny again, couldn't, again, how could <clears throat> life have gotten better than that day? Like spending the day at, the morning at Sweetie, Sunny and Sweetie's having breakfast. Yeah. And then we went into the fish market. It was a so nice experience. It was just less than maybe five minutes and started the video when we were eating and now we're done. My is in front still challenging her plate. I can guarantee you, when she done that, I said, Dad, Dad will refuse the bones. Yeah, she walking around in the head. You will do far from yeah. she don't talk. He don't, you see, he movie plate So the mistake I made is like, ask Anne for more of those cherry peppers. And oh gosh. This man is one double big man and eat plenty of the cherry Ooh. peppers and he can't eat it. So I took, you gave me back two from your plate, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I took the peppers. So well, thanks again for a wonderful lunch. You're welcome. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me throw down this meal. It was requested by Mr. Ricky again. And that's it for lunch and dinner, right? That's it. <clears throat> that's it for lunch and yeah. dinner. And we've been very good guys. He has not even any sweets like, you don't need to little curry, you want something a little yeah, sweet to like yeah. nosh on. But <laughs> I would also like to say a special hello to Nazima Rahman. She's one of our faithful subscribers and friends. She always comments on our videos and stuff. So special shout out to you, Nazima. Hi, Nazima. <laughs> I get Nori coming back in front of she is there. So guys, thank you so much again for all the love, the support, and weekly tuning in and joining us here in our kitchen. We have a few more of our videos from Guyana. We had such a blast there with Danny and again. There's same there's just some wonderful footage. We're saving the best for last, right? So we have some more videos coming up. I think I have like four more videos we have. Right? About, yeah. Yeah. Well, so stay tuned. <clears throat> stay tuned. Again, for thanks to all the folks on the avenue who would stop and say hello. I can't remember everybody's name. You know, some of you guys are camera shy, but you know, thank you so much for acknowledging 
Anna's Kitchen and my brother Danny's program. Yes, thank you so much. And um, yeah, you you guys see the it doesn't get better than going and eat fried yerbaka <laughs> like I always tell you when I bounce up with you on the street there. And uh, having those hey, cold buns. Hey, you sound like a up on the <laughs> Alright, so it was a catfish party here today and um, couldn't It was couldn't a good lunch. It was a good lunch. <laughs> yeah. So guys, again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Alright, take care guys. Ciao.